Decide the size and position of the projection screen before hammering in the anchor bolts for the attachment fittings. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be projecting an 80 inch screen. Measure the position of the projection screen. Then mark the top of the screen and the center of the screen. When attaching the finger touch unit, a clearance of 50 to 100 millimeters is required between the top of the screen and the finger touch unit. A clearance space of at least 50 millimeters is required around the screen. Use the template provided to determine the positions of the wall holes. The center line of the base fitting would be 34.6 millimeters to the right of the center line of the projection screen. Next, for the WXGA model. Use the 610 screen table on the template to reference the position of the fitting. As this is an 80 inch screen, the distance between the center of the base fitting fastening hole closest to the projection screen and top side of the screen will be 354.3 millimeters. Use the gradation lines on either side of the template as a guide, then attach. First, align the center of the projection screen with this marking on the template. Next, align the top of the screen with this position. Assemble the center base fitting and side base fittings and fasten using eight hexagonal cap screws. Align with the template and attach the base fittings to the wall using eight anchor bolts. Fasten the center base fitting using four or more anchor bolts and the side base fittings using two or more anchor bolts each. If the anchor bolt strength is insufficient, increase the number of anchor bolts. Attach the adjustment block to the arm fitting. Loosen the fixing screws on the side of the arm fitting and extend the arm. Select the attachment's position according to the size of the projection screen. If you attach it on the end of the arm fitting, you will be able to project onto a larger screen. Take care with the orientation of the adjustment block. Attach to the arm fitting with four hexagonal cap screws. Attach the arm's up-down movement screws to the arm fitting. Tighten to the red mark. Next, attach the arm fitting to the base fitting. Temporarily hook the arm fitting onto the base fitting grooves on the up. Next, attach the arm fitting to the base fitting. Temporarily hook the arm fitting onto the base fitting by the side holes. Insert the grooves of the arm up-down movement screw into the U-grooves on the underside of the base fitting. Take care as, at this stage, the arm fitting is not properly fastened. Insert both arm support screws up through the underside of the base fitting. Tighten and fasten the screws using the hex key. Fasten the support cover with one hexagonal cap screw. Remove the temporary fastening screw and attach it to the base fitting. Attach the bracket to the projector using four hexagonal cap screws. Attach the bracket with the cutout end facing the cable side of the projector. Next, attach the projector to the adjustment block. Slide the projector bracket on from the right-hand side of the adjustment block to do so. 
Fasten using three step screws and one hexagonal cap screw. Slide the arm forward and adjust the view angle and size. Align the center of the adjustment screw with the gradation line for the required screen size and adjust. Pass the cables through the arm fitting hole and position them. Connect the cables up to the projector. Install the wiring after you adjust the view angle of the front cap and the cable cover. First, we'll show you how to project an image. Set the projector screen settings and adjust the focus. Power up the projector. Use the focus button on the remote control to adjust the focus. Open up the Easy menu, then select Installation. Select Front Ceiling under this menu to flip the display. Set the digital zoom to the maximum setting of 100%. Next, reset the screen calibration under Perfect Fit on the menu. To reset, select the icon in the center of the screen, then press the Enter key. Make sure that the vertical and horizontal keystones are set to zero. Next, from the Advanced menu, select Screen and then Template. Select HAS WM05, then press the right arrow button. The HAS WM05 ceiling fitting guide will be displayed. To return from the operation guide screen, press the button on the projector unit or the right arrow button on the remote control. Move the arm back or forth to adjust the size of the screen. Here we roughly adjust the focus. Tighten the fixing screws on the wall attachment fitting in the four locations. Adjust the screen angle. You can precisely adjust the rotational direction using the red labeled adjustment knob. You can precisely adjust the horizontal trapezoid skew using the green labeled adjustment knob. You can precisely adjust the vertical trapezoid skew using the blue labeled adjustment knob. To precisely adjust the screen's position, move the projector unit either to the left or right. To precisely adjust the size of the screen, move the arm fitting either back or forth. Perform an approximate adjustment and repeat all steps up to this point to adjust the screen. Next, fine-tune the vertical positioning of the screen. Use the Allen key to turn the arm up-down movement screw on the underside of the wall attachment fitting to adjust it up or down. Turn it clockwise to move downward and anti-clockwise to move upward. Lastly, use the screen calibration function to perform the final adjustment. The work is complete once the screws that were loosened for adjustment have been retightened.
connect the projector up to a PC using a USB cable. Press the IWB button on the remote control. Display the IWB mode screen and select PC Interactive. Press the calibration button on the remote control and run automatic calibration. After the automatic calibration pattern has displayed for a few seconds, a success message should appear. Use the interactive pen to check that the PC's mouse cursor tracks properly. Touch the projection screen to display the initial operation toolbar. Select PC Operation Mode and click and drag a box on the top left-hand side of the screen. Click and drag on the bottom left-hand side. Click and drag on the bottom right-hand side. Click and drag on the top right-hand side. Once you have confirmed that tracking works, the task is complete. Set IWB mode in each of the projector input terminals. Display the advanced menu on the remote control. On IWB, go to IWB Setup and select IWB Mode to display the IWB Mode screen. Set the Interactive Function Mode on each of the input terminals in accordance to the user environment. There are three methods of attaching the finger touch unit using double-sided tape, magnetic sheets, or fastening with screws. Use the most suitable method for the surface it will be attached to. Remove the cover from the finger touch unit. Loosen the three adjustment knobs until the screw tops hover approximately eight millimeters above the case. Install so that the unit is in the center parallel with the top side of the projected screen. When attaching the finger touch unit, ensure there is at least 50 millimeters of space between it and the projection screen. Ensure there is a distance of at least 50 millimeters to 100 millimeters between the laser beam window of the finger touch unit and the projector projection screen. Next, Check that the projector unit's power is not connected. Connect the finger touch unit and the optional terminal on the projector unit using the accessory USB cable. Turn on the projector. Press the IWB button on the remote control and in IWB mode, select PC Interactive from the menu. From the Advanced menu, select IWB, then IWB Setup. Under IWB Setup, set Manual Operation to On. The images being taken by the projector's built-in camera will be displayed when you select Camera View in IWB Setup. Fix the adjustment bars that come bundled with the unit to the left and right edges of the projector's projection screen. Remove the clear protective film from the adjustment bar and fasten it to the screen surface with the white printed side facing in the direction of the finger touch unit. Next, adjust the angle of the finger touch unit's laser beam. Turn the adjustment knob to clockwise until the reflection line appears on the screen. Turn the adjustment knob 3 clockwise until the reflection line is horizontal. Turn adjustment knob 1 clockwise until the reflection line moves to around the center of the screen. Here, if the reflection line is not horizontal, turn adjustment knob 2 and adjustment knob 3 clockwise 
and adjust until it is horizontal. After confirming that the reflection line is horizontal, turn adjustment knob 1 clockwise until only one point is lit up for each adjustment bar on the left and right side. Next, turn adjustment knob 1 anti-clockwise until two points light up for each adjustment bar on the left and right side. Put a finger on the projection screen and check in the configuration view that the point where your finger touches lights up. If so, the distance between the screen and the infrared laser beam has been optimally adjusted. If the distance between the screen and infrared laser beam is too near or too far, turn all of the adjustment knobs anti-clockwise and perform the adjustment process again. Once the adjustment is complete, you may now remove the adjustment bars. Push the right arrow button on the remote control to end camera view. Push the calibration button on the remote control and select automatic calibration. Switch from IWB mode to PC less interactive mode and use the pen tool to check that you can now draw a continuous line. The finger touch unit installation is now complete.